It's Professor Dave. Let's check out Legionnaire's disease. He knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Legionnaire's disease, also called legionellosis, is a severe, often lethal form of pneumonia, which just means lung inflammation. Symptoms may include cough, muscle aches, diarrhea, fever, and chills. In the U.S., somewhere between 10,000 and 18,000 people get infected every year, some of which end up in intensive care units. We first learned about this disease in 1976, when a mysterious outbreak of pneumonia occurred at an American Legion convention in Philadelphia, hence the name. Because of the fatal nature of some of the cases, health officials launched an intensive investigation that resulted in the definition of a new family of pathogenic bacteria, the Legionellaceae. The family Legionellaceae consists of a single genus, Legionella, with 48 species and 70 serogroups. These bacteria are slender gram-negative rods that are pleomorphic, which means they can change shape in response to their environment. Infection with Legionella pneumophila has three possible outcomes. One is no symptoms at all. Two, an influenza-like illness called Pontiac fever. And three, Legionnaire's disease, a severe form of pneumonia. Legionella is naturally found in freshwater lakes and streams, but can be particularly dangerous to humans when it spreads in man-made building water systems like cooling towers, plumbing systems, hot water heaters, or decorative fountains. In particular, these bacteria thrive in the mist created by air conditioning ducts and can infect an entire building of people, like that fateful summer of 1976 in Philadelphia. A person becomes infected by breathing in small droplets of water that contain Legionella and typically can't spread the disease to other people. Legionnaire's disease most often develops in people with an already increased likelihood of developing respiratory sickness, such as those who smoke cigarettes or those with a compromised immune system. The Legionella, if able to establish an infection, replicate within cells of the immune system. After an incubation period of 2 to 10 days, an infection of L. pneumophila can cause acute illness, which can escalate to multi-organ disease of the gastrointestinal tract, liver, central nervous system, or the kidneys. To diagnose a case of Legionnaire's disease, clinicians typically take a chest x-ray and might conduct a urine test or saliva test to confirm the presence of the bacteria. Typically, antibiotics can clear an infection of Legionnaire's disease, but approximately 10% of people who get sick with the disease will die due to complications. The best way to prevent Legionnaire's disease is to properly maintain building water systems, hot tubs, and fountains. So, if you have many hot tubs and fountains in your mansion, be sure to take precautions now. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.